Hi guys, welcome your faces back to another episode of my Drug Dealer Simulator. It's your boy Westygaming97. How are we all doing? So yeah, as I explained in the last episode, um, we kind of restarted the whole uh, gist of the game. So we restarted the game, um, did a new playthrough. We are now up to level 4. Um, and we've just received our next dead drop of marijuana. So yeah, I've put some time and effort in off screen off this gameplay as I explained in the last episode. Um, so I've learnt a few tips and tricks. So we are trying to get to level 5 so we can unlock the Emma. So we can unlock Emma in the old marketplace. So we've just unlocked our marketplace. So that's a good start. Um, and then once we unlock Emma, we can buy a mortar and pestle. And we need two of them um, to grind up the ibuprofen and the sugar to make some blue amphetamines, which is a very good mix to get people addicted because it's quite strong. Um, and then we will be making the amphetamine mix of uh, what I call my addicts and my um, dealer mix, which is uh, amphetamines plus baking soda so yes 22 grams of amphetamines to 8 grams of baking soda so the blue amp is about 75 76 percent proof um whereas the amp the dealer amp is about 71 proof um i think i think it's about 75 yes yeah, about 75 proof the blue so yes yeah, a little bit stronger and it's a little bit more potent um I found you can cut it down to about 65, but some addicts will complain after a while of having 65% proof. Um, but so yeah, the 71 I have found is the best one to go and do because you just will not get harassed for it. So where's our dead drop? Near two towers. So it's the bin right outside the front of two towers, which I don't like to be honest. Right. Oh. Did you see me? Nope. You see me so yeah, as I explained in the last episode as well, you want to try and um, do as many as deals as you can at night because you get a higher XP bonus and you get more cash for selling at night and your exposure and your risk factors go actually they drop during the night by 50 percent so they take a dramatic matter hit i will also say though um don't be afraid to do some deals in the day run your dick i'd run your exposure factor up to about showing it off and no sorry um run your risk factor to showing off and run your exposure factor to I can't really remember what it is, but um, yeah, if you run them up in the day, um, you can run them up a little bit in the day because um, you can just deal during the day, and then as soon as night time rolls around, you can obviously knock all the stuff you just racked up back down, which is quite handy to do. But yeah, so it's a quite a little way. So you can knock old mark safe. Boom, on the old marketplace, only four grams of weed. So we need to get our first demon now. So this guy will probably become one of our dealers. Sorry, pressing the wrong button there. So I reckon probably So Dolores will probably be one because she's up to it. Paul will probably get one and to be fair all of them will probably. Cause so yeah, a good way to know is um whether or not they're gonna become a dealer is normally the increases uh, the gramage will increase. So obviously they're asking for a baller there, now they're asking for two ballers. So they've gone from two to four, so this one might become a dealer, it might not. It's pure random chance and it's pure percentage based. So like you can't just go, ah, oh, because that one's up to um to four now. I'm guaranteed that one's gonna get a deal. It doesn't really work like that. Some some will just remain fine, and some will never become dealers. Um, and some will. Some will literally go from two to four, and then they'll be okay. Yeah, I want to sell for you guys. Some will go from two to four to eight to twelve, and still be clients. So like I've had clients pick up 15, 16 grams off me. 
quite regularly, so yeah. I see that you get 108 with the back rather than the 50, so yeah, kind of adds up in a while. And again, rather than 130, I get near enough 300. So yeah, you, you, the XP is pretty much double, and so is your rep. So it does pay off to sell during the night, and also obviously the benefits of the risk factor and the exposure factor, that actually adds up as well, plus the fact of you get more money. Not all the time, some clients will go, nope, sod you, we're not paying you any extra, um, we're not doing nothing like that, but some will um, go, alright, yeah, no worries, no problem, and we'll pay you a little bit extra, but yeah. So yeah, I would also like to remind you guys right now, while we've got a second, don't forget to smash that like button, it does help me out greatly, and I really honestly do appreciate it the more you like this video the more recommendations that the youtube algorithm gives out to other people recommending my video to more people meaning we can get more viewers and hopefully well if there's any new viewers out there hi welcome your faces this is my drug dealer simulator it's a very simple game and yeah and check out some of my other videos um on my channel i do bioshock dying light and i will be also revealing so this will be going live today so i'll have two episodes live for you guys today on my drug dealer simulator along with my bioshock episode my daily series of that um we'll be getting that going again and yeah i will also oh yes tomorrow i will be releasing far cry 6 yes that is guaranteed it's already bought and ready to download it's downloaded on my pc and i'm just jigging and waiting for midnight because, yeah, I've been looking forward to this game. I'm a massive Far Cry fan. I've been a massive Far Cry fan since Far Cry 3. It's the first Far Cry I got into it. Because I didn't really get into gaming until I was about... I'll be honest, about 13, 14, 12 maybe. A little bit earlier than that. About that time I got into gaming. Because, um... It's not like I was like not allowed to play video games. It's just... I, I didn't come from, like, a family that had a lot of money back in the day. Like, my mum was a single mother. Um, so, just... Yeah, I kind of... Didn't have a games console till about the PS2. Which was... I had a PS2 and even then I had bugger all games. I mainly had FIFA and stuff like that. Um, Gran Turismo. Stuff like that. Simple, you know, the bog standard games that... You buy kids that you don't really play video games. And I really enjoyed it, but I was also so active being um, an ice hockey player, because obviously I played ice hockey for... Okay, so this guy is probably going to become a dealer now, because he's ordering another four grams. Um, also, another little tip with the dealers. Um, you normally can tell whether or not they're more likely to become a dealer, because their weights will stay up. Oh, no, shit, I don't want that. I want two of them. Eight grams of that. So, yeah, they will, um, they will normally, um, keep their weights about the same. So, if they up it to four, they will normally stay at four grams, whereas, <laughs> okay, that was lucky. I got lucky as hell there. But, um, yeah, so normally they'll keep it up. So, like, obviously we've ordered two lots of 4Gs now. Um, if they're more likely to go back to being a client and stay a client, normally the the weights will fluctuate a bit more. So normally, yeah, the dealers will just steadily increase. If not, they will just ask pretty much bang out. They'll order double what they normally order and then they'll ask to become a dealer. Normally. Um... But again, yeah, as I said, there's no set algorithm for it. It is pure chance and pure luck. Oh, sorry, let me just sort my headset out. Um, but yeah, it's pure chance and pure luck. You just can't, you just can't guess it. Like, but the the little tendencies I found is if it goes from four grams and then all of a sudden they want two grams and then they want six and then they want three. Nine times out of ten, they're going to stay as a client. They're not going to be trigger it as a dealer. They're going to be clients. The ones that normally go from 2 grams to 4 grams to 8 grams to 16 grams, they're normally the ones that are going to... Or the ones that go from 2 grams to 4 grams to 4 grams to 8 grams to 8 grams to 8 grams will normally be dealers because they're just staying at a consistent and that 
the only times their weights change is to go up and normally that means they've got friends and clients that are willing to sell so yeah that's just a, a little like kind of my personal what i've noticed through the gameplay from me playing it is the fact of if the weights stay up normally the um normally they'll tend to become more of a dealer than a client and they have the more tendency to but again i can't say for certain i haven't tested it fully but yeah oh okay so four g's four g's of mj that's what i like to see new client order of four grams of marijuana so yeah, I will quickly run that over to him now and get that all sorted over. Oh, oh yes, I've gone through the right door. I thought I was going through the wrong door then. Yeah, I'll run this over to him and then I'll run back to Dave. Hide behind here quickly, wait for the police to bugger off. Okay. Gone far enough now. I can run around. Oh, of course you're on the back side of this fence. The only pain in the butt with this one is the fact of if you can't, can't jump over that black fence, which is a bit of a pain, but you can run around, which is not too bad. So. Not too bad. We have your four hours left. Of policing hours. Oh, handy. Great time. So yeah, you can also find uh, loot around the map. I'm. I'll be completely honest with you. I'm not an expert. I don't know where the loots are, and I don't know where you can find loot. I just randomly stumble upon things like that with a spray can, and I hope to find them. So I'll drop the cash off over there. Drop the spray can in here. And I'll quickly go and tag. Well, actually, that might be a sale over in old marketplace. Let's have a look at, uh, West Old Town. Okay, so it's not. So yeah, see, this is what I'm talking about. So Dolores is probably not going to be a dealer, to be honest with you, because look, she's dropped down back down to two grand to Kanja. So normally, see as um, see, look, random random race four and four so he's more likely to become a dealer than um dolores is just because she's dropped her weight again granted i can't guarantee that dolores might be my first dealer i don't know but just from what i've found and the trends i have found within the game from playing it personally nine times out of ten she's going to be quiet for the rest of the gameplay and um, Brandon is more likely to become a dealer for me. There we go, get the two over to her. Let's run over to Old Marketplace, but I know you're in West Old Town, so I can get you in a second. Because I need to spray. Now that's an interesting place. Look, Look up. up. The two towers, they call it. Creme de la creme of the native pathology. Yeah, there ain't no Saruman here, but there sure is a lot of magic going on. If you know what I mean. Sure, a lot of magic going on. Yes, there's a lot of stuff in the place. So yeah, that's two towers. Um, so by the sounds of it, that's the, um, as they say, the creme de la creme. So yeah, I believe there is going to be an update and they are going to be introducing something to it. I can't guarantee, I'm not a developer myself on the game. But I have a funny feeling because I've seen a YouTuber and see that little window there? You can basically parkour up to it. And um, you can actually get inside the two towers. Granted, it glitches you straight through to the floor, but there is a room there. So it looks like they might be expanding onto them. I've got one more spray left. Can I get one more spray? Left? 
and get one more spray down, get that spray down, and then we will go and put some orders. See, look, you get more respect in the night time, so I wouldn't focus solely your time on spraying in the night time. I've only done that just because we have just unlocked Old Town, and you can't really, so you can't find clients during the night. I mean, I uh, I say that yes you can, but it's very rare, very rare. I noticed like in the whole gameplay, I think I maybe got five clients during the night time. You don't normally get a chance to hand out free samples just because people aren't about because obviously it's police hours and most people are good citizens. I must restate that. Most are good citizens. The ones like us, the drug dealers, aren't good citizens <laughs> and don't listen to policing hours, but hey ho. Um, we continue on but yeah it's it, it's just one of them ones it's um something like that oh so yes so uh anetta is probably going to be a comma is potential to become a dealer as well because again she is picked up actually i won't do that i'll bag it out of this one get two lots of two in that one and move that one over there clear up that jar run this over to anetta oh, okay she's right there oh, boom. And that's all. Sorry, hello. You're right in my face. Make that sell. 108 respect. 298 XP. How close are we to level five? Oh, we are very close, and we've got. We have got three hours left. That's what I like to see. Because if we can get to level five before daytime, that's my. That is my goal. Is to get to level five before daytime. Because if we can get to level five before daytime, so yeah, this one's probably going to stay a client. So I've got two lots of two. Because yeah, if I can get to level five before daytime, I can then go straight out into the world and I can go and buy a crap ton of, I'm doing, I'll go and buy two more impressions from um, Emma. And then we can start making some blue amphetamine and then we can start working on getting some addicts because I need five addicts to my products. Um, and then we can start selling amphetamines which does gather a lot better of a price, I'll be honest. Then it also the price goes up a lot more. So you can up your prices a lot more. You're not stuck with just selling it at ten grams um ten dollars a gram for a long time, which with weed you do. Um, cause yeah, I did have a little go through with just trying to do weed until you, um, unlock cocaine. Just because there is, as I said, I can't explain right now because I don't want to spoil it for you guys. Um, that will be coming later episodes once I rank up a bit more. Um, but there is something to do with cocaine why I wanted to focus solely on cocaine and weed. And the only reason why is because when you get unlock the thing for cocaine, the, what I'm on about, you just make so much money from that. It's just fucking ridiculous you can't turn it down so that was the only exception i was just going to do purely weed and then cocaine but oh my god it was so painful ah oh, boom another one in the old marketplace so i need two grams of ganja what have i got to go oh i've got to go So yeah, we've got to try and do as many cells as we can. Ideally, mainly over here as well if we can. The more we can get in Old Town. Not Old Town, I mean, Old Marketplace be better. Because we've got, our, ah, okay, we're on 692, so our, rank, our rep's good. Our rep's good in the area, so that's not too much to worry about. Now we just need to work on XP more than anything. So we can get our XP up. So is there anything? We can check out the ATM in the grotto. Unlock soon and gain the first dealer. So yeah, we've got loads of cash now. So we're about 400 up on what we need to do to pay Eddie off. So I'll then run that over to Ed. Pay him off.
I thought I was like, I thought I owed him like 20 or something. Not 160, holy crap. Yes, it were a lot better off than I thought we were about 400 off. Oh, hello. Oh, God, glad I saw your visor. I thought you were a person. Uh, but I said, of course, they turn straight back on themselves. Heard yep. something. You hear that? Hey, you wait. Run, 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 motherfucker, run. <laughs> and that is also a little bit. Also, what is good to know, um, that I would highly advise you. Oh, wow, 450 bucks. Oh, crap, we're born. Um, am I going to get level 5? Yes, I am. So I need to grab some amphetamine quickly and also some more marijuana. Oh, damn, man. I almost shit my pants. I, I suppose you've gone all the way, though. <laughs> Dude, that's pretend. Oh, you're a fugitive now. The policeman that chased you will probably recognize you, so watch out. Others will be more alerted for naughty looking assholes like you running around the area. Better keep a low profile. So, yeah, so once you become a fugitive, um, nothing really happens. You don't get any um, more bonuses. So, yeah, if you now get caught in a stop and search, don't panic. Um, being a fugitive doesn't affect that. It doesn't make you, like, you're going to get arrested just because you've run away from one set of cops and stuff like that. But I would advise you if the same set of cops that have just chased you, so, like, if these are the ones that have just chased me, I might get a little too close. Oh, no, what? Hey, did you not cop? <sighs> uh, also, the only other annoying thing is sometimes... Don't overload it, so don't kick on a delivery in a cash. Cause... Shady. Yeah, 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 don't worry. Yeah, deliver cash for cartel. But yeah, it, it, it didn't register me clicking it. So my day is 210. I'm going to pay Eddie off and I'm going to get some marijuana. You there. Come here for a moment. Grab her up, quick! So yeah, so if that was the same set of cops that um, initially um, caught me or chased me the first time round, um, they would have kicked off. And they would have instantly ran at me, but because it wasn't, they um, they didn't. So yeah. So like, if I walk out now and uh, there, but yeah, to be fair, by the Okay, down there. Run over to Eddie, pay him off quickly. Thank you, Ed. Run back upstairs, drop the cash off. Pour some more dope from Eddie. Hopefully, get another sailing. Yes. Order marijuana so I can get 40 now, or I can get 44. I need 
right, so any Eddie, right, so we will save this now that we've paid Eddie off and we've got, I want to say 30 grams of fat coming in. Yeah, 30 grams of fat. Yeah, I think we've got 30 grams of fat and I know we've got like 44 grams of weed, so. Mary Jane, we're stocked up on a for a while. Right, boom. So we've got level five. Three. So now all we need to worry about is grabbing some water and pestle. Uh, and then I need to get some. I need to grab some bacon soda. I want bacon soda. Because, yeah, for two packets of baking soda, I can grab... So, 66 grams of amp is two lots of baking soda. So, two bags of baking soda equals 66 grams of amp, I need, which means I will gather up 90 grams of amphetamines. So, if I grab two of these, actually, I'll grab four of them. Yeah, I'll grab four of them because that will give me 180 grams of amphetamine. So that's two and a half graphs, two and a half of my medium jars full at the moment of my dealer mix. So yeah, that's what I'm saying. The dealer mix produces quite a lot. You get eight grams of free product, whereas that's what I'm saying. My blue amp, you only get three grams of free product. So the way cutting works is you buy... Um, by 50 grams of coke say um and then you add say 10 grams of extra stuff so rather than you 50 gram of coke you've now stretched it to 60 grams of coke so whereas you probably only get 500 bucks for the 50 you might get 900 bucks for the 60 that's a bit of a dramatical ex ex exaggeration but that's the kind of point of it the more you make the more you sell so if you buy 10 but you can turn that 10 into 20, then you've doubled your money. So the way of cutting is you cut to make profit. So yeah. So yeah, so the um, the dealer one is cut a lot more because there's a lot more additives in it. So it gives me more out, but the strength is weaker. Whereas the blue app gives me less, but the strength is stronger. So it makes it more addictive. So that's what I'm saying. You get the you get them in with the strong stuff, dick them up, get them to the point where they can't not have your product, and then you basically give them the dealer stuff that's a little bit cheaper that they can afford, and it's still giving them the same bump, but just not as good as a bump as the blue, even though they're still thinking they're getting blue, and then they will order more because they feel like they're getting more and more used to it, and then they order more and more and more, and then that's how you get addicts, and they start spending more money. But you've also got to be careful because if you make it too weak or too cut um th there's a link on wiki i'll try and find it and i'll try and put it in the description but yeah it explains and it walks you through all of the um levels there's a toxicity level and all that lot and if you make your stuff too toxic um yeah it will cause people to start ODing. weed ha i think weed has a zero toxicity level i want to say i think i'm not 100 percent sure but yeah so the more tox uh, the more toxic your product and the higher the toxicity level the more likely they are to od or the more likely you are to have someone od so i say sorry Shady. and you don't want people ODing. uh so how long have we got to wait half hour run this last one out four grams of MJ. Run against the clock, come on, come on, before seven o'clock, because then I get the bonus. Ah.
Ah, did I? Yes, I did. I got it. Did I? Yes. I think I got it. I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> right. So now we've done that, we can now. Where am I going? Ah, oh, market that way. So I need to go left here. Sorry, I got myself a bit confused with that point. So it's now 7:04. So Emma should be here, and that's where. Yes. So look. So this is where you find Emma in the old marketplace. So the furniture shop is just here with the ATM, which is on your map right there. That's your furniture shop. There's your ATM, and Emma is just down here. Uh, on these little boxes So yeah, and you can buy all your stuff from her. So yeah, look you can get medium jars So I've got two at the moment. So I need I Need another one of them and I need two of them oh, no. Sorry, I need two of them So yeah, we'll pay for this and then, so this comes out of your bank account. You can't control this. So this is where your bank account becomes important. So when you buy from the drugstore, Emma, uh, the furniture shop, um, pretty much anyone. So the drugstore, if you're buying medicine, no, it runs like the gas station. You need cash. If you're buying equipment, yes, it runs like the furniture and Emma. You need to pay online. Um, so yeah, if it's an actual legitimate business, you will have to use your legitimate money. If it's like a gas station and a drugstore, obviously you can pay cash or card. So it will then click you on cash, so you can pay cash over them. But yes, that is the way it works. So now we can finish setting up our, our setup. So this is the mixing tray for my dealer mix. So we need to chuck one uh, on there turn that round dun, 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 dun. boom right so that's on there put the cash back in there Character, upgrade my character. I'm gonna upgrade my salesman and I'll chuck it on stealth. So, stealth is quite handy because stealth helps you slip by um, barricades and stuff like that. And um, not hitting barricades, but it just makes you um, less noticeable, should I say. So, we'll quickly run these two grams of MJ. Ah! So, I'll go hire the dealer. Looky oh. here, you've just hired your first dealer. Congrats. Dealers order the dope just like any other clients, I'll but a grams. lot more, progressively. I'll do the thing the is MJ that they pay up and... after they distribute, so take that into consideration. So, yeah, so as, as he was just saying, sorry, I was talking over him. So, yeah, now we've got dealers. Dealers are like clients, um, they're very good. Um, but the only difference between a dealer and a client is the dealer will order more and higher quantities uh, in larger amounts um, more regularly. But the only issue is, whereas clients will pay you for the money right there and then, it's like this. So when I give her the drugs, she gives me twenty dollars back. Um, they won't do that. They will take the drugs, go away for like a day or so or half a day and then they will come back to you but they will give you a larger chunk of money so normally um so normally if i'm doing so if i give them 10 grams a week so i normally make say if i'm making 100 bucks on that from a client uh they will normally give me about 95 bucks for that and stuff like that and they will make a little bit of money on top of uh, stuff like that but then they add it adds up eventually because they do buy more and more and more and more of you and they buy a lot more regularly because they're selling it out so let's get the amphetamines down and let's get the marijuana down get that in there get that in there mm -hmm. get up there 
so yeah, we've now got 27 grams of marijuana, and we also have 30 grams of amphetamines. So yeah, I think I am going to call it there for this episode today, because um, I will save the mixing till tomorrow, and I will do my first lot of mixing up tomorrow morning. Um, not tomorrow, in the next episode for you guys. So we can save that for the next episode, because I feel like coming to the end i don't want to overload you guys it's been about half an hour and i know you guys are starting to switch off about this point so i won't drag on too much longer so i'll save that for the next episode and we'll we'll grab that and we'll start mixing up and i'll do a bit more of an in-depth guide of how to make blue amp and the difference between the blue amp and the simp amp or the addict amp so i found it as simp amp i call it addict and dealer amp just because it's the one that works best with the addicts and dealers it's about as minimum as you can cut it without getting people pissed off so it's good but yeah i'll go into more details about that um in the next episode for you guys but yeah as i've said before don't forget to smash that like button because it helps with the youtube algorithms helps you recommend my videos to more people although you're doing absolutely nothing you can sit there and do nothing and still help me so it makes all the difference and i really appreciate it guys and it means the world to me don't forget to smash that subscribe button and make sure your notification bells are turned on because I will be uploading two episodes of Drug Dealer Simulator today, minimum. Um, I might do three because I'm quite into it and I'm just being back to back, back to back, back to back playing this. Uh, also live today at five o'clock for your faces will be a Bioshock episode for your faces. But yeah, don't forget to miss, uh, don't forget to check that out. But yeah, it's been your boy Westy Gaming 97 wherever you are in the world right now. Stay low, stay safe and peace.